Hello, welcome to this video on ratios. Um, yesterday we talked a little bit about ratio reasoning, but today we're getting in more in depth. Um, we're starting on page number 24. No, I take it back. Number 12. <clears throat> well, we learned the situation um, to make a certain type of blue, uh, sorry, a certain type of green, we have to mix uh, four, sorry, three parts of blue and two parts of yellow. And we see here that we could write it as blue parts to yellow parts, yellow parts to blue parts, blue parts to total parts, yellow parts to total parts. And all of these comparisons here are what we call ratios. A okay, ratio is basically a comparison of two quantities that uses division. Again, a ratio is a comparison. All right, two types of ratios. We can have a part-to-part -part ratio and we can have a part-to-whole ratio, okay? So let's take a look at what that would look like, all right? We had part-to-part -part ratios. We'd say there are three blue to two yellow. <clears throat> or we could say two yellow to three blue. Here we have three blue to five total and two yellow to five total. So see the difference between the part-to-part -part and the part-to-whole? Part-to-part is just one part compared to another part. Here, it's one part to the total and the other part to the total. All right? <clears throat> then this um, next page, I think it is 15, um, just introduces this idea of voting for mascot. We're going to focus in on um, this homeroom 7A, okay? Because they say um, the, the votes were three to two, all right? So we have three votes for tigers and two votes for lions. So we can write that in word form with the word two, T-O, all right? We could also use a colon to represent that. So we have three votes for tigers compared to two votes for lions. So the colon basically does the same thing as the word two. We can also write it in fraction form. So the first set gets put above the second thing, all right? So in this case, it's three votes for tigers on top two votes for lions. So again, there's just three ways of writing the same comparison, the same ratio. Okay? Now, down here, we are just practicing writing it from word form into colon form. And basically what we're doing is using the same information here, we're just writing it as a fraction now. So the first number gets put on top and the second number gets put on the bottom. Here, we're changing it up. Instead of the three tigers, we're talking about the two lions. So it's the other part. And these are part to whole ratios. So two lions to five total, and then we write it as two lions over five total. Then this is the part to part ratio. So we know since there's five total votes, two of them for the lions, three must be for the tigers. So we have three tigers to two lions, and then write it as a fraction form. Three tigers over two lions, and then we have two votes for lions and three for tigers. Again, all we're doing here is we're just switching the order. All right? <clears throat> And then on page 18, we learn how all of these things right here, okay, whether we would call them a percent, a fraction, a percent, or a fraction, are basically all ratios. Okay, All of these situations are talking about ratios. And here's why. If you look at this breakdown, ratios are either part-to-part -part or part-to-whole ratios. Now, a part-to-part -part ratio is just that. It is just a ratio. Okay, but a part-to-whole ratio, if we put part over whole, starts to look a little bit like a fraction, like one half. So if I have one half of something, I have one part out of two total, okay? Because if I had two twos, I would have the whole thing. Okay, but I just have one of the two, all right? So I have one half. So anytime we had a fraction, you were basically working with a part-to-whole ratio, okay? Now, if we go even further, any part-to-whole ratio um, is a fraction, but there's a particular fraction that could be called a percent. Okay, it is a part-to-whole ratio where the whole is equal to 100. So this bottom number is 100. Whatever the top number is, that's our percent. Because percent, cent meaning 100, means per 100. So if I have 35%, it means I had 35 out of 100, or 35 over 100. Okay? We can even look at it as a decimal. So basically what we're saying here is, if I have 35 shaded boxes, that is 35 out of 100, that represents 35%. So on this next page, 
gave you a chance to practice this. You counted the number of squares and you wrote that over 100 because how many shaded compared to the total, not to the unshaded? Because that would be a part to part ratio. Part to whole ratio is how many shaded to the total 100. So we had 45 of these shaded out of 100. That's 45%. Here, count them, there are 11. 11 out of 100, that's 11%. Here, there's 70. 70 out of 100 would be 70%, and so on. All right? So we can see the connection between percents, fractions, and ratios. All right, now, going back to this ratio idea, part-to-part -part and part-to-whole ratios. Okay, on page 23. You need to read this paragraph. All the information you need is up there. We're going to write the ratio in colon and in fractional form to express each relationship. Okay, so we're going to have two answers for each problem. First, it's comparing sports movies to war movies. A couple things. It says sports first, so we're going to write the number of sports movies first. Hunt up here in the paragraph, I see it right here. It says five sports movies, so I'm putting five sports, and then war movies. How many war movies? Come up and find. Oh, it says three, so I'm comparing five sports, colon, three war. Okay, that's my answer for my colon ratio. Then I, same information, write it as a fraction ratio. Five sports over three war. These two ratios mean the same thing, it's just one's in colon form, one's in fractional form. So I'll do the same thing for 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And that's our assignment. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.